What's up, men? 25 gamers. In today's scheme of the week episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the pistol week, our base blitz beating formation out of this package. And the main reason we like to use the pistol week, remember we're in the pistol playbook this week, is for uh, none other than to play Y corner and halfback select screen combination of the two. And uh, what we can do if we can first go over the runs here, uh, we have the halfback zone weak, which is just a basic inside zone run. We can bounce it to the outside if we want to. We can bounce it. We can, it's it's basically just like the, every zone weak we've been working with uh, out of this playbook so far. It, it does a really good job of just mixing in some running, uh, some 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 power runs from this uh, formation here. It's just pretty simple, and straightforward. The next play I want to look at here is the uh, the 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 triple option here. Sorry, I got a little carried away, but this is a we like to use this as our, our basic three header rushing attack as well. So it all comes from the same formation and this is gonna allow us to have an X factor formation we're gonna break down in the next video, which I cannot wait to break down that one. But uh, this read option or this triple option we can run inside uh, or we can run outside and uh, we're just gonna option this in and it, a lot of times they actually will go with the running back out of this package unless they tell the computer not to. But it's just a really good triple option. It's probably the best one in the game, in my opinion. Um, you see, it's just it, it, it takes advantage of everything that the triple option is and the best direction of the of the uh, the pistol. It, it it's like um, inside zone split and outside pitch. It, it's just got a lot of a lot of good things in combination. Now the one problem with it is that right there, you don't always you can't always tell um, whether or not they're going to play the quarterback or they're going to play the pitch. Uh, or the pitch man, but there you see, if you make the correct read, uh, this thing is money in the bank, and, and this is, like I said, with combination of the strong, the pistol strong is our, you know, our main running formation by far, but having a, a running set we, where we also have a quick pass out of, it's, it, it makes it very easy to now have this X-Factor formation at our disposal that we're going to break down in the next video. But that's enough of the, the running out of this. Let's take a look at the passing and why I think it's the uh, one of the better quick passing formations in the game. What we can do is, is we can take Anquan Bolton here. We're going to put him on a smart routed out route. And then what we can do to Kyle Williams is we could either put him on a smoke screen or we could leave him on his route depending on what we think the defense is going to do. We could streak Gore, but I don't really like doing that. I like putting Gore on an option route. Okay, and the first read on this play is going to be uh, if the quarterbacks are back, it's going to be Anquan Bolden. A lot of times, he's going to be wide open. If the quarterbacks are off coverage, typically he's going to be open. The you know the scenarios of off coverage is, is typically cover uh, zero, uh, zone blitz, or cover three. So majority of the time, he's going to be wide open. In a situation where it's a cover three, let me just make one here. Uh, so we're going to put Reed here in a flat. In a situation where it's a cover three and they're off. Triangle's route is going to hold that flat zone so that we can get the ball to Bolden. So that's why I really suggest that being your first read. Your second read on here is going to be Kendall Hunter out of the backfield. Um, right there is where you want to throw when his icon lights up. That's when you want to look to him. Uh, he's going to beat the zone blitz. As far as the man blitz, like cover zero. Um, so if I can find me a stink pinch or something. Let me see here. Yeah, here's one, a stink pinch. He's going to also be able to be effective against that right there where that icon lights up. Be sure to hit him right as soon as that lights up because if you hit him late or early, it's going to mess up the timing and he's not going to catch it. Gore's route is pretty good. I like it when it just curtains around and it's just something to have in your arsenal. Um, and then Davis's route is our next read. It typically doesn't get as open against the zone, uh, but I love it against man. Uh, two men under situation where they our quick reads are taken away. We're gonna have to go to something late. This corner route does a really good job because the post route and the corner route pick each other off, and so they intercede with each other, which presents a natural pick and rub, and it, it allows them to beat man-to-man -man coverage. You're gonna see Kyle Williams it actually would be uh, Michael Crabtree in typical game, but passing that to the inside there was a, a little early, but it's gonna be able to be user caught against um, against zone coverage. So let me see here. Let me show that to you again. Man under. And we'll go. Pass lead down to the inside. Click on and you're going to go user catch that. And you see you're going to get big gains. That's why we like to have it for max coverage situations. You could create smash if you wanted to. By putting Kyle Williams on that smoke screen. So if they're in a zone blitz you could easily hit that as well. Just have options with the hot route uh, of Williams. But I do like the post route for my offense. And then we have the halfback slip screen in my opinion. One of the better slip screens in the game. 
what we want to do with this is we're just going to put Anquan Bolden on a smoke screen. We're going to put Kendall Hunter on a wheel to the right, or a swing pass to the right. We're going to side protect to the right. And then if we can, we're going to put Gore on a block and release pattern. Uh, a situation where we may not be able to do that is if the ball is on the left hash, uh, we're not going to be able to, if we hot route Gore to a blue route, he's going to go, he's going to, go to the right. But I think, if I remember correctly, if we put him in a blue route and we're on the right hash, he's going to go to the left. Yeah, you see he's going to go to the left. So that would be a situation where we would just leave him. We would just let him uh, be on the regular slip screen. But the, it's still the same read. Okay, so run the setup here. And we like to put Bolden on either a smart route out route or a smoke screen. And our first read on this, we're going to fall away to the left. And if they're in a, uh, a zone blitz, we're going to hit Bolden quick. And just take a quick 5-10 yards. Now, if, if, if Bolden is covered, that's going to mean they're either in a cover 2 zone blitz or they're in man. So, let's go to man here. And that's going to mean we can hit triangle fast and get to the edge. And you see Kendall Hunter in the open field. That's going to be LaMichael James or Kendall Hunter, depending on who you guys like at that position. I personally like LaMichael James a little bit better. And then... Um, if that's taken away, that's going to mean they're in a max coverage, which is going to open up your uh, circle receiver here, Williams. I forgot to audible to a max coverage. I'm sorry. Let me do that real quick. So they, what they would do to stop that is they'd have a spy, and then they'd maybe man up here, and that's going to create a void so we can hit uh, Williams coming across the, the middle of the screen here. See how it just crushes man-to-man? -man? Um... So the, we like to have that as, a, as an option. And then the, the, the third, or this would be the fourth read, we're going to look to hit Gore out of my field. Now this is a situation where if just for by fluke something's covered and we can just drop it off to Gore, um, it's more, and that wasn't a good example, but typically against a, just a regular zone coverage, this is where we like to do this. Um, so like a, like a cover three or something, just regular zone. If that's open, then that's going to give you time. Gore's going to drop right off in, and you've got, you got three blockers. One of them are going to you know just kind of cycle through them, try to pick up yardage. And then lastly, an all-out max coverage defense where they're blitzing nobody. This is where we like to hit Vernon Davis over the middle deep. Pass lead him down into the inside. Click on and go use or catch it. And uh, that's how we like to use this. Another thing we can do with this screen real quick is we can create a makeshift screen to Colin Kaepernick. So we'll call the halfback slip screen. We'll slide protect to the right. We'll put Hunter on a, uh, a, a, a swing to the right and go on a swing to the right. And we're just going to roll right at the snap. Just get out of there with Kaepernick. Bail. You got blockers. It's almost like a quarterback sweep. So add this to your playbook, guys. This is a great for a little formation. And we'll be back tomorrow with a great, uh, a great, 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 great uh, X-Fact formation. Uh, I actually contemplate just running this formation. Uh, this thing is, uh, you guys are going to be excited to see what we have in store for you tomorrow. So be sure to come back tomorrow. If you guys are new to the channel, you enjoy this content. I try to get out a lot of content daily. So to keep up to date with our content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any further questions or comments or need uh, help, explaining this package a little more leave them in the comments below i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you guys so much for another great day and have yourselves a great day